Welcome to another video on the self-care of pain. I'm Dr. Dan Perez, the pain and injury doctor online. I produce one or two of these videos every week. So consider subscribing and sharing on social media because the fact of the matter is that millions of people all over the world suffer from pain, from musculoskeletal pain, and it reduces their quality of life. What I do is I show these strategies that I've researched and developed, and hopefully this is something that'll be able to help you. In this video, I'm gonna show you a general protocol on how to self-treat joint pain. Now, when you talk about musculoskeletal pain, it most often involves the joints, and that's because your joints are biological machines. Just like machines, they're made up of different components, they absorb stress, they do work, and they do repetitive movements. And just like a machine, they can break down and you have dysfunction, you have pain. The tricky thing about joints is that they're made up of a certain type of tissue, connective tissue, that does not heal very well. This is why when you sprain your ankle, sprain your wrist, develop carpal tunnel or tendonitis, you notice that it takes a long time for it to go away. Compared to something like a, a skin cut, like you, if you cut your skin, even if it's a pretty deep one, you'll notice that very quickly it changes from day to day. That's because your skin is comprised, comprised of what's called epithelial tissue, high density of cells, highly vascularized, and if you're healthy, then you're, that's gonna heal. Your body's gonna magically heal that pretty quickly. If you injure your ligaments or tendons or your cartilage, that's a different story. It's gonna take a long time to heal because there are few cells in those in connective tissue. The other thing is that there's not as much blood vessels. There's, there's not a direct blood supply to your cartilage and ligaments like there are in your epithelial tissue. So blood is the means by which your body transports uh, things like nutrients and clotting factors and things like that to to the tissues and the ligaments and tendons uh, don't have that much vasculature to them. So the strategy then is to do things to invigorate those few cells, those fibroblasts and chondrocytes so that they can secrete those collagen fibers more quickly and therefore restore function to that ligament. So this is a standard protocol. I'm going to demonstrate it on my wrist and you could modify it for wherever your pain is, whether it's your elbow, your shoulder, your knee, your ankle, and so forth. The first is myofascial release using this instrument. Myofascial, myo means muscle. Fascia means the covering, the webbing that covers your muscle. Release refers to whenever you injure connective tissue, sometimes you develop what's called scar tissue, and it could be like uh, really tough and nodules could be there. So releasing that means to go in there and rubbing and agitating that area with this instrument. When you injure connective tissue, most of the time, like a sprained ankle, most people ice it and then your body heals it, but sometimes there's a lot of scar tissue there. And then your brain forgets about it and it becomes chronic. What the myofascial release does is it, what I call agitates the area, causing micro injuries, so to speak. And that gets detected once again by your, your body and it sends blood to the area and reparative agents. So you could do it like this. You could keep it stationary and move the tendon or ligament underneath the instrument You'll see it turn red, but that's what you want. Okay, so that's the first part. The next part is using pulsed EMF. Pulsed electromagnetic field therapy is based on the idea that your tissues have tiny electrical charges that are used to move things within the cell in and out. For example, nutrients like glucose, amino acids, and, and move the metabolic product, waste products like carbon dioxide out of the cell. So it uses tiny electrical charges between the membranes to achieve that. And when you injure tissues, it messes that up. That signal is disrupted and it takes the uh, tissues a long time to repair. If you introduce pulsed EMF into injured or painful or inflamed tissues, it provides that electrical energy that's missing in the injured cells 
and it kind of boosts those cells so they can go about uh, doing their biological functions and healing themselves, secreting that collagen and so forth. Now there's different types of pulse DMF devices. Some are mats, which are full body. This particular one is a handheld one, which makes it ideal for treating joints, which are relatively small. It has a membrane that emits white noise. Now noise is sound. Sound is pressure waves. Pressure waves can travel through water. Your body's mostly water, so it sends that sound wave into the injury site and shakes, it vibrates those injured tissues while the pulsed EMF bathes them and restores that electrical, those electrical charges that I talked about. So that dual effect boosts that injured tissue to regenerate faster. I'm gonna show you what this sounds like. It sounds a little funny. <clears throat> so that's the sound. There's the white noise comes with this device. This device has a green light, has a light that turns green whenever, when it's exposed to an electromagnetic field. So you put it over the injury site. Again, that white noise vibrates. It sends that uh, sound into the injured cells, shakes them up a bit. The machine is emitting that pulse, the electromagnetic field, restoring those electrical charges invigorating those cells all right so you do that for about 10 minutes i'm going to turn it off now now you can imagine when you send pulse dmf into an injured cell the injured tissues where the electrical field the signals have been depleted or disrupted you re-energize those cells it's it's like jump starting your car those cells kick into gear the membranes are operating more efficiently and the, the, those injured cells can get rid of that waste material and get nutrients back into it. The blood vessels dilate, you get some circulation going on. So pulse EMF actually enhances the therapeutic effect of other modalities. So following the pulse EMF application, you do this, the red light therapy, and apply it to the injury site while those cells are invigorated from the pulse EMF. Red light is electromagnetic energy in the visible spectrum. Those photons get absorbed by your cells, those fibroblasts. Remember, we're just trying to stimulate those fibroblasts and chondrocytes and chondroblasts. Those cells increase their ATP production so they're able to move faster and synthesize those proteins. So that's the basic protocol. Again, you could modify this depending on the type of joint you're treating. The myofascial release to soften the scar tissue and bring hyperemia to the area. The pulse EMF to provide electrical energy to injured tissue so that their uh, membrane potentials can be restored and they can function better and carry out their biological functions. And then the red light therapy to boost that even further while the effects of the pulse EMF is still present. Do these procedures twice a day for two weeks and your pain should drop dramatically. That's it for today. If you know anyone who has joint pain, please forward this video to them. You're, you'll be able to help them. It's going to improve the quality of life. See you next time.